well, well, well. What do you think? Wow. You like it? Do I like it? I love it. Thank you. I mean... Wow. Mm-hmm. Babe, see, honestly, eh, all those pictures and videos you sent, did not even do justice to any of these aesthetics. Uh-uh. Well, thank God I trusted your interior decor skills. If not, hey, go on. Oh, well, I had to give it my 150%, knowing fully well that I'm dealing with a very meticulous human being. Now, what is that supposed to mean? Well, it simply means her royal majesty will not hesitate to abandon all this if oh, she doesn't like it. Please, please, please. <laughs> See, I am more interested in my bedroom. Where is it? Come upstairs. I'm looking for you. This is my room. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> wow. What? Yeah. <laughs> the bathroom is huge. This is amazing, babe. That phone or toy or whatever you have, they didn't even do justice. Thank God I got you a new phone. <gasps> oh, that's so sweet of you. But guess who needs to go for an eye checkup? You, because please. You don't even finish that statement. Which one? Uh-uh. But this is amazing. I mean, the decor, the interior, the bed. Wow. I mean, babe, I really, really appreciate you so much. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Your care, your attention. Ah, your love. God, I love you so much. Oh, you know I love you more. Come here, come here. But listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Having you here makes a big difference. I know we talk often, but having you here really makes a big difference. I'm happy you're here with me, Mira. I know, right? Yeah. But guess what? What? I have surprises and goodies. <gasps> Are we here to speak English? <laughs> I'm going to get the login. All I'm right, coming. Yeah. Mir, why are you standing there staring like a ghost? It's pretty late. You're not even sleepy. Are you okay? Come, come then. Oh. What's the matter? Babe, I've been thinking. Mm -hmm. Do you think the orphanage would let me mark my 30th birthday with the children? Uh, I think they should now. Okay, don't worry. I'll give them a call tomorrow, okay? After all, we have been supporting them for so long. But you would call them tomorrow? Definitely. Okay. okay. Is that why you were just standing there staring like a ghost? So now you're feeling like one protector of the universe. Oh, please. You know what? Lie down. You can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay like this. Don't worry. Stay like this. And you can watch it by me, right? <laughs> Mira. Oh, hey. What's Are up? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, sure. Guess what? Francis is suggesting I start house hunting. Why? Uh, he feels that we may be invading your privacy since you're back. What, what is Francis trying to do? What is wrong with that fool? Mira. What, 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 is, what is, is he trying to separate us? But look, look, it's not, it's, not what, it's, not, it's not what you think. I'm sorry, I overreacted. I'm really, really sorry. Just it's okay, ignore. it's okay. 
It's okay. I totally understand. We shouldn't even be having this discussion. I'm really, really so sorry. I'm sorry. When I lost my parents, you played a vital role in my life because I was lost. I mean, you were my only family. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be back home. I mean, this is my home. Yeah, but it is your home. It is our home. So you should be getting married from here and not anywhere else. Oh my God, Mira. I'm really so sorry. I feel so bad. I shouldn't have. I, I feel so selfish. I'm really, really so sorry. I promise to get married from here. I promise. Oh, sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> now, come. Come, let's okay. go. Sheriff. Angel. My name is Prince Uzo Ezewan, the Crown Prince of Indonesia Village, the Navy. Uh, my father is the King of Indonesia Village, the Navy. <clears throat> and I just came back from Malaysia. Yeah. I just pray that babe makes it home in one piece. What would you have to do, bro? Force our what? Literally. You saw pain in those darkness. <laughs> that is what you won't understand. And you would never understand, bro. So just let it be. Okay? Oh, look, bro. You had the opportunity of becoming the knight of a shining armor. And you decided to let it slide. Rather you here trying talking about um, what you thought you saw in the dark. I pray, I just pray that she makes it home in one piece. Uh, I think you have a point, bro. Uh, maybe I should just call her. No, 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 it's even more dangerous calling the drunk driver. Okay, you have a point too. Yeah. You're right, bro. Yeah, I'm always right. Who says you're always right? I'm always right. <laughs> <laughs> Love 
beds. I see you guys. <laughs> Amir, what's up? I'm all right. How are you? I'm good. Thank God you're back. Um, we're about dressing up. Green out to look for you, you know. Oh, yeah. really? Mm -hmm. Because I look like a lost child. You guys don't even look like we're about to get to dress because this is definitely not a such pretty mode. <laughs> you're not well, Mira. Did I say I was before? So, how was your master date? Lagos Nightlife is amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you had fun. Thank you. So, I'm going to leave you guys to continue your love and tackle men while yeah. I am upstairs, okay? Upstairs. Right. No dinner? No, maybe later. Okay. When you guys are done. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> It's not just sweet soul. Well, just like a best friend, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just like a best friend, and that's why I love you. Mm, love you too. Mm. I look into the mirror, surprised by my reflection. Wondering how I got here, but it doesn't even matter. There's blood on my doorstep, no hope for redemption. Call me retribution, cause it's the only thing I know. So I Hi, hello. Of course I'm alive. Can't you hear my voice? Silly. Yeah. Yeah, I heard you the first time, Uche, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much for checking in on me. Yeah. Yeah, my line is always open, so you can call whenever you want to. Yes, Uche. Good night. Good night, Uche. Oh, please permit me to call you, Mommy. Mommy, I was just five years old when I started hearing about Miss Mirabel from abroad who has been supplying our needs. Mm -hmm. Now I'm 13 years and not for once have you forgotten us. Well, we still like to have you in our midst. And I promise to always be here every year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know my birthday, but my wonderful grandma, yeah? chose 25th of December for me. So that's my birthday. I hope you come celebrate with me. I promise. So we love you from the bottom of our hearts. Happy birthday, mommy. Thank you so much. I love you too. Well, 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 kids. Hope you guys had a wonderful day today at Auntie Mirabel's birthday party. Yes. But it's time for them to go home because it's late. So. Can we all go now? Okay. Bye. Okay. Go in. Oh, oh, I'll be back again next time. I year. know.
um, just take it easy. Okay? We'll get it sorted out. Uh, hold on, let me let me get Francis and go here. Have this. Yeah. Hey, Mia, what's up? Hi, Francis. Hey, okay? Um, I, I don't know, just... So what do you think? Honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I, do, I don't know what to do, Francis, or even think. Babe, hey, then don't force it. Whenever you're ready, you go for it, okay? What do you think? Well, if you ask me, um, adoption doesn't necessarily mean you have to take uh, the kid or kids home. You can be solely responsible for her while she's still there, which means you have to visit frequently and, um, you know, take her out occasionally and be a part of decision making and all of that. That's all. In this Nigeria, is that even allowed? Does it happen? Of allowed? course it does. I, I mean, I have a friend who did the same thing. The child went home with him and they're currently on vacation. Are you serious? Well, that means if we, we can go back and meet grandma and then have this discussion again, right? Yes, whenever you're ready. I am ready. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Francis. Anytime. Huh? Anytime. You better don't tell me right anytime. If not, she will wake you up from sleep to discuss uh, anything. What, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Come on. Thank you so much, Francis. All right. So, are you okay now? Of course. <laughs> Thank you so much. So. Hello, Nancy. Yeah, I'm here. I can't see you. I'm outside. Um, I'm here. Yeah? Hi. Hi, Nancy. Hi. How are you? I'm all right. It's good to see you again. Same here, but I have to apologize for stressing you out the other day. I mean, I was a handful. It's okay. Um, I was just concerned about your safety. That's what bothered me. Oh, oh yeah, and I have to apologize for keeping you waiting. I'm, I'm sure I must have kept you waiting for so long. We all know how Lagos traffic can be, so it's fine. Okay. But the question I want to ask you now is why you refuse to come see me at my lunch? After what happened the other night in my state, no. In front of your whole staff, I felt so embarrassed. <laughs> so I'd rather stay out from that lounge for now at least. Nancy. <laughs> yeah. See, that should be the least of your worries. Trust me, these guys see worse things every day. So you all shouldn't be a surprise to them. And if I may tell you this, I don't think they saw you. And even if they saw you, that shouldn't be a problem. Trust me, you're an adult. All right, if you say so. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know so. Okay. You look beautiful, by the way. Thank you. Can we go to my lounge now? No, uh, no way. I would still pass on that. I mean, because I have a meeting, so. Okay, so what if we go to somewhere now and cool to chill? Yeah, but I'll have to meet you up later in the evening. I I have um, a few things to sort out mm -hmm. then, but I could come meet you up. Okay, I'll call you later then. All right, then. Mm -hmm. Have a help? Yeah. Take care of you. Bye. See you later. All right. Tell me more about yourself, Billy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you don't want me to bore you with all those long talks. Actually. So I am Nancy, 35 years old. A divorcee with two kids who stay with their dad in Abuja. So tell me about yourself. Amuchi. Una. See you. Eminem Berlange. Nice. I own travel with East Transport Service and many other businesses. Permit me to take good care of you. That's so sweet. Like, I'm so glad we met. I'm not happy we met. Oh. I'll take care of you. 
Order anything you want to eat and drink. Views on me. No, 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 no. I don't want to eat or drink or anything. I just want to be with you. Like, I am enjoying my time with you. Why don't you let me make you happy? Make me happy, baby. And I'll make you happy too. <laughs> Babe, I'm hungry. Go make yourself some food. For hand. real, babe. Yeah. I did it yesterday. You know I like it when you cook. Please. Oh, not today. It's babe. your turn. It's your turn. Please. You please. Uh, mm. I did it yesterday. Oh, oh, please. Hey, lovebirds. Hey, ho. Hi. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> what did I tell you about telling her anytime? I warned you, right? Yeah. Uh, good morning, uh, Good morning. Here you go, Adam. She huh? Said Adam. <laughs> Adam. That's your own cup of hot coffee. And here you go. Adam as in what mirror? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you're not well mirror. Ah, please, you've never been. Mm. Uh, mirror, thank you for this hot coffee. Please mention, mention, mention. Yeah, well, it's Oh. Yeah, I can see you're in high spirit. I like it. Maybe that's because I'm going to the orphanage in a bit, you oh, know. I should join oh. you then. No, no, no. Relax. Stay. Like, I'm going alone. So, you and Adam can have the whole house to yourself. Ciao. <laughs> I told you. She can be a handful when she wants mm, to. Go make food. Babe, no, babe. No, we're Please. not. Please. We are not doing this. Babe, babe. I'm hungry now. Time. Please. Feed me. There's blood on my doorstep No hope for redemption Call me retribution Cause it's the only thing I know So I will let it out Cause I don't mind if it all tears me down Mommy, can I come on with you today? Oh, baby, you know I'd really love that. But time is on our side, and I promised Grandma to take you home before six. But guess what? I have a room specially made for you. Egg. No! <laughs> oh my baby, see. And I'm going to tastefully punish it to your style. Whatever you want. What are your favorite colors? Um. I love every color. Except yellow. Why? Oh. Oh, my grandma told me that the woman who abandoned me at the front of the orphan was wearing yellow. They saw her? Not really. They, they only saw a glimpse of her. But she disappeared before the staff could get there. I hate yellow. Yellow is the color of pain. Oh, my baby. I'm so sorry you had to see that. See, I would ensure that there is no trace of yellow in your room or anywhere in the house just because of you. I promise. I pink promise. Oh, thank I promise. you, baby. I love you. I love you too, my baby. You know what? Let's go grab a bite so that I can take you back okay. before grandma. <laughs> This is all very shocking. More confusing than shocking. I don't even know a bit of it. We were together up until like 4 p.m. yesterday and he didn't say a word about going to a hotel for whatever reason. Look, but what's more confusing is the fact that I don't know what happened. Also, that hotel had no CCTV footage. I find that kind of odd, you know? if. We had more information. I'm sure we'll have more to work with by now. 
Look, I think um, what's going to happen here is for us to wait for the autopsy result to come out. But let me tell you, this is a wake-up call. <laughs> right now, if, even if I must go to the toilet, somebody must know about it. Right? My brother, I certainly agree with you, but what is really boggling me now is the news trending online about him selling his soul to the devil and the contract expired and that's the reason that he died. What? I mean, that's also false. What devil? What contract? You and I knew him. Uche was clean and so was his money. Except, of course, you've started believing these stories being fed you by the bloggers. I'm not buying into anything by the bloggers, I promise you. It's just that I'm, I'm... You know what? I'm still in shock. Um, finish your drink, please. Let's go to his house. No, no, I think I'm good. Let's go. The body of the late MD of the M&M Bar and Lounge is found in a hotel at the early hours of today. The cause of his death is yet to be ascertained as there is no evidence of murder. It is also revealed that the hotel CCTV malfunctioned during the stay of the CEO at the hotel. Babe, the, the crime rate in this country has become alarming. Oh, well, we don't know the cause of his death, so I, it's safe to say we, we can wait for autopsy. Well, I mean... You're correct. For all we know, it's cardiac arrest. You know, my mom wants the wedding in Abuja, but my siblings want it in Lagos. Uh, I'm still confused. I'm not sure what to do yet. Uh, really? So where does that leave us? Uh, babe, you need to chill. I haven't consented to any of it yet. You know, I, I actually told What them... you told them, Francis? We shouldn't even be having this discussion, you know. I have a family as well. I can let them impose other venues and other things. Hey, come on, relax. Okay, I'm sorry, all right? I'll do the need for. You better do, please. You better do, because I really don't want these pre-wedding issues or side distractions, honestly. Babe, you have to chill there, okay? What's all this talk about pre-wedding issues? I told you I'll do the need for. Or do you want post-wedding issues? I'll answer that question three months into our wedding. But for now, I need a well-deserved massage from my husband. Come down. I said you wanted to come here. So, do you have a team that you train with here? Nah, I just come here to train by myself. Well, I'm just saying, it's an absolute pleasure to be seated with a professional, you know? Right. I seem to see where this sarcasm is going, but thanks. Why are you being so modest? I've seen you on TV before now. Don't you play for like uh, two top American teams? Oh, I'm really? Yes. Oh, thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. Well, now that you have come home, hopefully you join us now and the upcoming basketballers to, to struggle and get into the Nigerian national team, Abby? Hell no. If yeah. I was going to do that, I don't think I would be here as a player. Oh, I'm silly me. How can you come as a player? You are too good. You know what? You come as a coach. Exactly yes, right. Because yes. you seem to have so much confidence in my ability. But my darling, it's all what I saw on the court. You are excellent. Yeah, you, you shoot, you dribble, you, you do everything, aren't you? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm flattered. <laughs> You're welcome. But seriously, are you going to come here tomorrow? Well, um, 
I just might consider because of you. Oh yeah? yeah. Make sure you come up. I'll be willing to tap from your big bouquet of skills. Oh please. So what you're doing on the court, fantastic. Right. All right. I'll see you tomorrow, Julie. All right, Mr. Man. I would definitely see you tomorrow. Me pedophile? Yes! Ma. No, stop that. I I'm not a pedophile, ma. Stop what? I saw you trying to stretch out your filthy hands, you dirty pedophile. Me? I didn't do anything now. Ma, you can't, you can't. Ma, I didn't do anything. I know my rights, ma. I will take you out of jail. Get inside this car. You want to kill me? You want, you, you want to kill me? Do you want to kill me, Rejoice? Do you know that man inside there? Do you want to watch See, I beg you in the name of God, please, do not let any man, let any boy touch your hair or touch your clothes because they will ruin your life. They, they will ruin you emotionally because please, I beg you, please. I am sorry I am overreacting, but these boys are wicked. You are not overreacting, mom. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Grandma always tells us to stay away from guys if they are around us. What did Grandma say? Open your ears wide. If you see them run, if they touch you, tell me or tell Grandma. Do you understand? Okay. So let's... Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah. Um. Grandma told me that I was preserved for a reason. That when my mother abandoned me at the orphanage home, I had several infections, but you are an angel dropped by God Himself. You are my special angel. Don't you ever forget that. I love you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, mommy. I'm so sorry. Okay. Um, the shopping. Okay, we'll just change venues and I will get you double of everything we're supposed to get here. Promise? Promise. Thank you, promise. <laughs> you know, you're not so bad yourself. Oh, you think so? I know so. I saw you in court. You practically beat me. Trust me, I was a lot better when I was younger. Even played states. Really? Yeah, but a lot of things happen. I have to take a pause. Wow, that um, that that sounds good, but I have to go actually. Uh -uh. Yes, I I really am busy oh, today. Oh come on, don't go now. You want to grab a bite to eat? That sounds like fun, but I have a tight schedule and I really have to go. So maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow is fine. You're not mad, are you? No, no, I'm good. All right. So see you tomorrow then. Alrighty. See you. Bye. Yeah. to come and inspect the property. <gasps> Finally! Yes, girl. Fashion designer mood activated. And guess what? What? The machineries are coming in next. Uh, great, I girl! Know. Give it to me! Yes! <laughs> Wait. I haven't seen Francis, your Adam, since yesterday. Adam is in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> Job. Wait, no, no. What is the difference between your bedroom and the Garden of Eden? Meaning that what happened in the Garden of Eden, that same sin is being committed in that bedroom. You need to repent. Whatever, girl. I'm not going to go on the I look into the mirror. Wait for God. Surprised by my reflection. Okay. Okay. Wake up. Wondering how I got here. Oga, I be your guy. Don't die. 
don't know. Be like your guy don't pay me be that too. Eh, more go call your guy come now. Wow, the man is dead. How long has he been lying here? Oga, now since morning where we they where we they do our work, we see say Oga park moto here and we just confirm say Oga they sleep. But we don't even understand what do Oga. I be waiting. Could this be a case of cardiac arrest? We'll do our investigation. Let's call an ambulance. Yeah, um, Dad, you sent for me. Yes, son, I was watching you as you were getting into the house. You seem to be in a state of melancholy. What's the problem? Dad, I don't know. I, I, I'm not a right. Roland was found dead. What? Roland? Dead? Yes. How? W what happened? Dad, I don't know. I don't know, but he was found dead just close to the basketball court. Oh my God. Close to the basketball court? Yes. Now, wait a minute. How come two of your best friends die within the space of a month? How? I hope you are not involved in any shady deal. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. You see, the most worrisome part of this whole thing is the fact that Uche's autopsy just came out and it revealed that he died of uh, a quick killing poison. Poison? Yes. What about Roland? He isn't out yet. Michael. Yes, sir. Michael, you've got to be careful. You've just got to be careful. I. I hope that you have not offended anyone, Michael. Look, Dad, of course not. Of course not. You should know your son by now. Well, I'm just saying. I know, I know. Anyhow, uh, w w what of Mom? Well, your Mom just um, stepped out some moments ago. She went to pick up something. I'm pretty sure she will be back very soon. But that's okay. That's by the way. Why not ask the chef to find you something to eat? You look famished. I now don't have the appetite for that. Maybe I'll just take a nap while waiting for her. That's okay. Oh. I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, that's fine. You just need to be more careful so you don't bump into a pregnant Um, It's okay. Uh, it seems I've seen your face before. Um, I don't think so. See, I'm relatively new to town, so it couldn't have been me. Sorry, have you ever visited M&M Bar? Yeah, just once. But I needed an alone time, so I went there. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't have missed such a distinct face as yours. Okay, so I don't know if that's a compliment, but either ways, I need to go. Um, you might be going to my office. No, I am actually looking to buy a property. Oh, sorry. We're an IT firm. Oh, I, that means I need to make more calls then. Well, what sort of property are you looking for? Okay, so I am looking for a place befitting for a fashion house and 
from the look of things, I need to move around so I could make more choices, you know, have a different opinion. But anyhow, look, um, maybe if you could drop your contact, I could link you up with my agent. Yeah, sure. You're welcome. Could you have your agents call me back? Uh, shorten. I will. Thank you. All right. Ah, who's that guy? Your crush now. Ah, yes. Okay, I'm Francis. Go and tell him. Oh baby, <laughs> you're here. Oh god, Francis, Francis, this girl is oh, running no, away. Yeah. She's not running away. Hey, babe. Ah. We're about to step out, looking oh, for yeah, her. Oh yeah, look for her and step out. Oh, yes, her. Her. Hi babe, um, I need to get there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll so call you. you. Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. Be good. Yeah, sure. <coughs> Bye. <laughs> so, when did I stop? Hello? Oh, hi, hi, Michael. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm doing great. And you? Yes, I already figured it out and it's being put in place as we speak. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't sound like a bad idea, actually. And I'm actually looking forward to it. Alright, there. Yeah. Bye. Auntie what? Who was that? Your grandfather. Your privilege. You, bye. <laughs> <laughs> this. This looks um, <laughs> more than what I expected, you know. What's that supposed to mean? An insult or a compliment or...? Oh, no, no, no. Seriously, it's a compliment. I'm sorry we came out wrongly. Mm, I was just messing around. <laughs> so, when are you opening for business? Um, hopefully in a couple of days. The bulk of the work has been completed. Just um, a few technicalities here and there. Oh well, I hope to be your first customer, your client. Sounds very, very good, but you would also have to keep tabs on all activities, especially on the opening day. Yeah, okay, if that's the case, I, just send me an invoice, you know, so I could start the buying. No way. No, I'm not kidding. You know what, um, you give me 12 pieces of um, t-shirts for me. Um, 12 for my dad then yeah casuals for ladies 12 pieces as well for my mom i'll send you the sizes much later so this is you messing around you're joking right do i look like i'm joking i'm serious look just send me all this send me the prizes and before the opening i should send you the money oh thank you so much michael i i'll send the bill to you right away okay so um lunch yeah sure all right, let's go. Give me a bag. All right. Go. Don't mind. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. But I'm glad you love the place. Oh.
I hope you're enjoying the meal. Oh, I love it. Like, and I love this place. I plan on bringing my friend here, but I have a feeling she might know this place because that girl. Always though. You know something? Maybe they should give you more chicken. Well, but this is enough. So if your plan is to stop me till I look stupid, then that's not happening. I'm oh, fine. I, I have my wine. I have my goods. Come fine. on, you know that's not a plan. Better, because um, this is okay for me. Thank you. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Babe, I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Are you for real? Babe. So many orders before business opens. I, he even texted me twice today to send the deal. What? What are you waiting for? Hurry up before he changes his mind. Calm down. I will send it. He's going to get it. Don't worry. <sighs> and more. Uh, Mira, mm? I don't understand. See, babe, in this life, you don't need to understand everything. Just let some things be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, when do we see this year, generous Bobo? Who said anything about Bobo again? How we, uh, did I mention dating? Easy now, easy. Why your body just Why be hot? Why my body not be hot or scratch me when your head be like stuck fish? Ah, ah Mira, ah, oh, come, come on. on. <laughs> see, don't worry. You're the only family I have. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're definitely going to meet him. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Go and look for him on the street, you know. Yeah, yeah. Please, let me check. Hello! <laughs> oh, thank you, Susie. Where's Rejoice? She's sleeping. She's sleeping? By this time, I think Grandma says she has menstrual pain. Please, can you take me to her? Please. Okay, mommy, we are here. Okay, my dear, thank you Enjoy, so much. Sorry, my, my baby. baby. How are you feeling? So have you been given any pain reliefs for the cramps? Anything at all? Yes. Okay. I actually brought your favorite food. Jollof rice, chicken and juice. Calm down. How is it? I thought you're not feeling fine now, so you won't have appetite to eat. I'm well now. I'm very good. You're very good? Yes, I'm too. Very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, let me get it for you. Okay. okay. Is this your first or second or third menstrual cramps? Both. Okay. I need you to understand that menstruation is very, very normal for every woman. I myself, I go through that experience, okay? And this also means that you can get pregnant willingly or unwillingly. I know, Mom. Grandma always tells us about it. And we also learn it in biology. I also need you to know that you can trust me with everything and anything. And when I mean everything and anything, I need you to open up to me, okay? Okay. Okay. to have you in my life. See, you make me so happy. Your beauty, your intelligence, your humor. I, I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. 
You know, whenever I'm with you, I feel I can conquer the whole world. Yes, we can conquer the world. Only if you can just take my hands and, you know, come with me. Wait, wait, wait. Stop, please. But, babe, I thought we both want this. Yes, but I've been celibate for three years, and I promised myself and God that I was only going to make love and keep myself and my husband. And that's it. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding. Oh, hi, Dad. Yes. Um, yeah, uh, Mira is downstairs with Mom. Um, but the good news is she has accepted. <laughs> come, son. Come. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. You, Thank you, Dad. Thank you you Dad. are now a man. Hmm? <laughs> I am so, so, so happy for you. Yes. yes. Everything should be done in earnest. Absolutely. I'm ready. Um, never mind. I'm going to invite all my friends. Okay. All the very powerful and um, all the Top big and of course that will grace the occasion. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm happy for you, son. Okay. <laughs> I am happy for you. Okay, then. Absolutely um, happy. Let me just hear what they're discussing here. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Babe, spill, spill already. <gasps> okay. Your baby girl just got engaged. <gasps> Wait, wait, so you expect me to wear my ring and be gallivanting around like all these brands about to be? Come on, I'm not branding myself. But don't you think it's too fast? I mean, usually, courtship should last for at least a year. You see this dating of Ithene? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have any formula. Okay. Haven't you heard of people who meet and get engaged on the same day? Hmm. Oh, okay, maybe I'm just being timid. But girl, I'm happy for you! Oh, babe. Timidity or not, mm -hmm. Mira, your baby girl, mm -hmm. is getting married. Right! I know! <laughs> so when do I get to see him? Very soon. Like, soon. Wait. What do you think about us getting married on the same day? Pinko, that's do you think Francis thing. would love that idea? Francis would love it. Absolutely! <laughs> yes. Imagine the headline. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two best friends mm -hmm. getting married mm -hmm. on the same day. Oh my God. Imagine our outfits and how we would look. Girl. Baby, get, see, you better go and convince Francis. So, oh. you trust me. Convince him now, now, now. Uh -uh. I'm coming. I trust Be you. Right back. I'm coming. <laughs> ah, God. Baby, see, I was thinking this mm -hmm. beauty and beyond. Then. Yeah. I actually want them to come, but then I'm thinking of their logistics for Mabuja. But wait, oh, isn't it strange that I haven't even met my best friend's fiancé and the wedding is just two weeks away? Auntie, there's nothing strange about anything. I told you he traveled now. I mean, I already promised us lunch and dinner when he gets back. Even if it's a day or two to the wedding, so just relax. How? A day or two? How can it come a day or two before the wedding? I mean, who's even going to do the planning? What planning? <laughs> My dear, what planning? It seems you don't know all these rich men. They have people doing it for them. It's been paid for. Uh-uh. Relax. It's okay. your blood day. Eh? Well, you have a point. Anyways, I can't wait to meet the bubble who has swept my bestie off her feet. What feet? Rest, though, this is your blood. I don't understand. Ah, Jackie, who is he, Jerry? <laughs> and so I was saying for the makeup artist, okay, Beauty and Beyond, they're coming all the way from Abuja. I'm thinking of their logistics. Girl, don't, don't worry, I'll sort that out. You follow up with them. I got you. You better. I got you. you Beautiful 
Uncle Princess, Lolo one of Avalon. Can we appreciate them by putting our hands together for them? Let's put our hands together for them, please. Let's put our hands together for them. Ezeiga, Adio, Prince, you're welcome, Dilola. You're welcome as well. of the day. Can we put us together to welcome the bride, the pretty bride, Maria? Jesus Christ on your way. Amen.
a very Chikwano. Does the name ring a bell? Oh, come on, baby. Look, is this a joke? My buddy yawns for you. Come, come, come on. A very Chikwano. Does the name ring a bell? Look, a very Chikwano. I think, yeah, I think when we were in secondary school. And she's late. What's cute, huh? What's killed a berry chikonu? I'm going to ask you for the last time. What killed a berry chikonu? Look, wait, 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 please, please. I, 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 my friend, my, 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 my friends and I killed her. Why? Why and how? Why did you kill a bird, Chukwonu? Mix up, you know. Life is not that hard. And playing with us will not get you pregnant. We are after all the same thing. That thing you're running from, you definitely receive, huh? And we are going to give it to you hard <laughs> and rough. <laughs> and look, you come back again for more. Corner! Come on! We're, we're, oh, come on. Yes. yes! Corner! Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Mira, where have you been now? Look at the time. I've been waiting for you. Do you have you not been looking for my bag everywhere? Your school bag? Uh, yes. Why would you be looking for your school bag? I think chemistry lab, intratech lab, everywhere. I cannot find my school bag. Where your school bag? It's just a school bag. Uh, uh, my textbooks, everything that daddy got for me is the same. Don't know that man. That man is going to kill me. Just calm down. You don't know that man at all. Mira, can you come up? Baby. We took your precious bag. Makes us wonder what else is precious to you that we can take. Take. My <laughs> brother. Just, just take it. Just take it off. Just we can. Just. <laughs> You say I get cash. I swear for run you come How now? For run that baby. Yeah, why don't you toast things? Mike, I know try ammo. I know, I know understand. How that one can take concern? No, try ammo. No, I, how you take concern? Ah, this thing, eh, see, this matter will be for now, safe. You get what you go say, yammy this morning. Man, you and you, man, you don't say you are my guy. You mean? I they tell you. Nami they tell you. We go run out. We go run out. We go run out. Nami. I tell you. Shebi, go toast Go toast Go toast her now. You should wait till you talk. Tell me, tell me. Go toast her. Take one drink. No go feel. They buy that.
took lives for three minutes of pleasure. You guys destroyed a whole generation because of your stupid, selfish acts. A police officer killed himself in prison out of the frustration of not being able to prove his innocence for not killing his own family. Yes, he did. But guess what? Eberi Chukun, how are you doing? Doctor, I am not fine. I just lost my family. How can I be fine? I can understand. But you see, there must be a reason why God spared your life. You were in the pool of your own blood and you stayed there for hours before someone came to rescue you. It's a miracle you're alive today. Thank you so much. I honestly appreciate it. Oh, please, please, can I speak with my best friend? Can I see her? She needs to know that I'm fine, please. Once you're settled in, we'll make you communicate with her. All right, discreetly. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. So just give me a few minutes, okay? And then I can take you home. Thank you, sir. All right. Locke smiled on Iberi Chukwono after several rides through hell. Yes, she gained a scholarship abroad. And now, sitting on your sorry ass of a dead body is a Berry Chukwonu, aka Mira. And I have vowed to take my revenge pound for pound and flesh for flesh. I started with that fool, Uche, and then that bastard, Raymond. It seems you men don't know how to control yourselves when you see anything under a skirt. Your friends died mysteriously and you could not advise yourself or be careful. Who knows? Maybe it's Karma's way of feeling at you. You guys made me an orphan at the age of 15. So when you get to hell, Michael, please tell Uche and Roland that I would spit on your graves on your first memorial. Please, please, <laughs> please, 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 please. please. Look, look, I'll do whatever. I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay whatever. Look, in the name of your mother, please. For the sake of my mother, if you had listened to me 15 years ago, Michael, maybe, maybe, but you pulled the trigger through my body. So rot in hell, Michael. Look, look, I'll pay. I'll pay. I'll pay all my life. Rot in hell, Michael. <laughs> Madam, what happened? Like I've explained before, I set an alarm in my house, in my son's house, in case if there will be any problem. But it keeps ringing and ringing and ringing, and I rushed to the station to make a report. Please, let's go. What? You have my daughter. What happened? Where is my son? He's dead. What? I killed him, yes. I never loved him. I only married him so I could end him. Gina, come on! You should have trained your son properly. Maybe he shouldn't go about guys raping people with his Mr. friends or killing families. Officer, I prepared for this day well enough, so can we move? I look into the mirror. Surprised by my reflection Wondering how I got here But it doesn't even matter There's blood on my doorstep No hope for redemption Call me retribution Cause it's the only thing I know So I will let it
Mr. Berichical. Mr. Berichical, do you really not feel guilty after the murder of three men in cold blood? Fifteen years ago, I vowed and I took an oath at the grave of my late parents. I prepared well and had enough for this day. I don't feel sad or guilty as most people would think. On the contrary, I feel quite fulfilled. To everyone out there judging me, I would like to ask you a few questions. Have you ever been gang raped? Shot and left in a pool of your own blood to die? Have you ever witnessed your own mother being shot right in the head and left for dead? Have you ever seen your own father take his own life because of the blame and the shame weighed on his shoulder by society? Jail might be a terrible place to walk into, but I'm going to walk in there with a smile because I have achieved my own dream, yes. And to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, to the Inspector General Police, I have one request. And I please beg you to grant them for me. Driver, move! Babe, what is wrong? It's wrong, Mirror. The law doesn't care if it's revenge. And I don't care what the law says. What? Yes. Tell me, how do you feel? How do you feel now that you have stained your hands with blood? I feel so happy and fulfilled. Very, very fulfilled. And I am going after Michael. But don't even try to preach to me because I am not interested. And please, my dear, if you cannot roll with a murderer in court, kindly leave. Babe, listen to me. You know I can't possibly walk away from you. I beg you in the name of God, please spare Michael. Let God do the judging. Please. I will spare Michael. I promise. Thank you. Thank you. I love you. Mom, may I interview you? No. You seem to be close to Mr. Berichigo. It would be necessary to obtain information from you. What you want to hear? I look into the mirror, surprised by my reflection, wondering how I got here, but it doesn't even matter. There's blood on my doorstep. No hope for redemption Call me retribution Cause it's the only thing I know So I will let it out Cause I don't mind if it all tears me down So I will let it out What is wrong, Mom? You don't look happy. My baby. Mommy is going away for a very long time. But no matter how long it takes, I'm going to come back, okay? I don't understand. Why do you have to go on such a long journey? Is everything okay? Everything is fine. Okay? But there are two important things that I need to share with you. Remember when you said you wanted to get a car and a house for Grandma? Well, the universe has a way of answering those prayers without you having to stress. How? This is the key to the car that you bought for grandma. And this is also a key to the house that you bought for grandma. 
Mommy, you are getting me confused. Like, when did I buy them? I bought them in your name, on your behalf, so they are yours. You can go ahead and give them to Grandma later, okay? I don't know if my biological mother could have loved me the way my grandma does. She, she deserved the best. She does. But there is something important that I need to tell you. And I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Please. When I was 15 years old, I got pregnant. I was hopeless and I was helpless. I didn't know if the decision I made was the right one. I don't know if I should regret that decision or not. But I went ahead it always. Felix, what's this? before and I'm saying it again this child I cannot take care of this child and a bastard can never be raised in my house precious please uh -uh. this girl doesn't have any other family <gasps> it's not her fault that she's like this she's just a victim of a bad society I don't care that thing there should be government property property you call a human being property Precious. Felix, Felix, the way you are going about this, I'm suspecting you. And very soon, you will confess. What? After I gave birth, I was so scared of Mrs. Felix's actions towards me. I didn't know how she would react. So I ran away from the hospital. And I came to the orphanage. I, I didn't know if it was legal to drop my own child at an orphanage. But I came here and I dropped my baby girl at the gate. I left her there and I ran. And that child was me. How? How? I don't. How do you? Why are you not angry at me? I kept seeing my dreams every night. But I told my grandma she never believed me until the day I made a sketch of your face. <sighs> and lucky for us, that same day you video called coincidentally which confirmed it. They saw you when you tried to spy. Baby, why didn't you tell me any of this on the phone? We speak every time on the phone. Why did you tell me this? Because you not told me to wait. But at the right time, you'll come for me. Yes, I will. 
I will come back for you at the right time. Okay? But I need you to trust Evelyn, who is my best friend and a sister to me. She's also your big auntie, Auntie Evelyn, okay? She's going to take you to the house that you bought for grandma with the car. And everything you need, as long as money can buy it, will be provided for you. No matter how long it takes, my baby girl, I'll come back for you, okay? I don't know where you're going, but I know you'll come out sooner than you think. Yes. I'll never be angry with you. I love you so much. I love you. I love you, mommy. Hi, mom. Hello. Please, mom. 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 Please, Go and meet grandma. Go and meet grandma, please. Go and meet grandma. Please meet grandma. Mommy! I look into the mirror, surprised by my reflection, wondering how I got here, but it doesn't even matter. There's blood on my doorstep No hope for redemption Call me retribution Cause it's the only thing I know So I will let it Retribution 